What's up, guys? This is Adam McPhail, and I'm here at Corner Music in Nashville, Tennessee, and we're doing the Post NAM pedal board giveaway. Down below, you see that I have a Rockboard Quad 4.1 pedal board. On top of the board, I have an Ernie Ball VP Junior volume pedal. I have a True Tone Route 66 overdrive and compressor. I have a True Tone H2O echo and chorus pedal, and I also have a Boss TU3 tuner pedal. All the pedals are connected by the Planet Waves D'Addario solderless pedal kit, and all the pedals are powered by a True Tone one spot power supply. And now I'm going to demonstrate some of the features of each pedal. I'm going to start with the True Tone Route 66 overdrive side. So I've got the drive dialed in at about 75%, so as you can hear. <laughs> Now I'll add the compressor. This pedal is really cool. Uh, you can dial in some really great rock, you know, country tones, blues tones. Um, I'm going to dial the drive back a little bit just to see, to demonstrate how nice the pedal cleans up. So here I got the drive on the overdrive side to about 25% now. go up to 50% back up to 75 and now it's maxed out 100% drive <laughs> Uh, this pedal is really cool because it has a clean mix knob so you can dial in how much of the clean signal you want from the amp and the amp I'm using is a Fender Deluxe Reverb 68 reissue so I'm gonna dial the clean mix back all the way to not on at all so <laughs> What you're hearing right now is basically all of the amp. Now I'm going to dial it all the way forward to where you're hearing all of the pedals. So depending how high you have the amp run will depend on how, uh, how much gain you're hearing and how much of the natural sound you hear as well. So I have the amp turned down pretty low so I'm going to focus on having the pedal turned up more. So let's move over to the compressor. So I'm going to turn that on now. I'm going to dial my drive back just a little bit. I like it at about 75%. So here's without the compressor. Turn the compressor on. So I have the compressor at a little short of 75%. I'm going to dial it back to about Just like the overdrive side of the Route 66, the compressor side has a clean mix knob to where you can dial in the clean signal from the amp. There's a tone switch and there's also a gate switch. So I'm going to start with the tone switch off. Then I'm going to turn it on. It seems to my ear, it seems to act kind of like a mid boost. Um, and now I'm going to go to the gate. So here we have the gate off. And now I'm going to turn it on. 
So you can see the pedal got a little quieter when I en enabled the gate. So now let's move over to the True Tone H2O chorus and echo pedal. So I'm going to start with the echo side, which is, you know, similar to a delay. <laughs> So I've got it set to have about three different trails. So three trails behind the initial note. So note. And I had the overdrive side engaged as well. So now I'm gonna go just to delay. On the H2O pedal, on the echo side, you have a delay knob, you have a repeats knob, and you also have a level knob. So the level is gonna change the amount of intensity of the delay, so you can turn the level up. You can see the delay is a lot louder. I'm gonna go back down now. You get the repeats, which is the number of repeats. So if I turn it up, you can see there's more repeats that trail the initial attack of the note. If I turn it down, you can see the repeats get smaller okay and there's also a delay knob which will determine how fast so there's not a tap tempo on this pedal but you can determine the tempo by this delay knob so I'm gonna turn it down you can see it's very fast at that point as I go up it starts to space out more and more and if I max it out you can see the delays are very long in duration. And on the as well on this pedal, you have a short and long switch. So if you right now have the long side activated, so therefore each note is generally a little longer in duration. If I switch it to short, you can get a lot shorter delay sounds. And if you wanted to dial in a slapback delay, you might enable this feature. So here I'll try to demonstrate that. Okay, now let's move over to the True Tone H2O chorus side. So I'm gonna dial in everything at about 12 o'clock. So on the chorus side of the H2O pedal, you have a speed knob, you have a width knob, and you have a depth knob. So let's try turning the speed down a bit. You can see the, the wave in the, in the sound is not moving as fast at this point. Now let's turn it all the way up. You know, we're starting in to get into a, a Leslie type of sound. Uh, the width, I'm gonna turn it down. The, the the waver and the sound is pretty wide at that point and then you have a depth knob as well so let's try dialing everything back a bit
on the on this side of the pedal you have an intensity knob and you have a detune knob so right now i have the detune switch disengaged so if i engage it getting into some pretty weird sounds here you know the it almost it gives basically gives it an out of tune sound even though your guitar is, is indeed in tune so if you were doing some type of psychedelic or kind of uh experimental music this feature would be very cool so i'm gonna turn that back on and my intensity switch has been on this whole time so the pedal is naturally a little heavier uh, so now I'm going to take it back to the left. I'm going to turn the intensity switch off. So now you can see the chorus is not as heavy as it was. And this is actually a three-way switch. So I'm going to go into the middle now. And then all the way to the right, full intensity. So we also have a tone switch, so if you dial it to the left, you hear the lows are a bit more heavy, and if we go in the middle, you can hear some of the highs coming out, and then to all the way to the right, it's a little bit brighter sound. There's also a chorus and vibrato knob. So all the way to the left. And all the way to the right. So a cool thing about these true tone pedals is that each side of the pedal acts as its own pedal. Each side has its own input and output. So the compressor side has its own in and out. The overdrive has its own in and out. Same for the H2O pedal. The echo side has its own in and out. And the chorus side has its own in and out. This allows you to use each pedal individually and put it wherever you want in your chain. So let's take a look at the Ernie Ball VP Junior volume pedal. This is a completely passive pedal, meaning you do not need a power supply running into this pedal. As you can see on the front, you've got an input, you've got an output, and you've got a tuner out as well. So the tuner out allows you to run into the tuner without having to ever turn the tuner off. So even if your volume pedal is down, you can still tune your guitar. It will still read your signal even though no sound will come out of your amp. Thank you. 